Yep. You guessed it. It's time for your rotten theology lesson. Howard's story was just beginning. He was about to embark on what is commonly referred to as a near-death experience. Thousands of people have described such episodes as warm and comforting, even heavenly. Howard Storm, on the other hand, believes his near-death experience took him straight to the depths of hell. What makes this story even more remarkable is that at the time, Howard was an avowed atheist who believed in nothing. Not God, not heaven, and certainly not hell. And in that complete despair and pain and hopelessness a small light appeared and got brighter and brighter and brighter and I felt this brightness reach down and pick me up and I was like all healed and whole and full of the most wonderful physical ecstasy and he called a number of angels around us and they showed me the effects that I had on other people, how I hurt other people. And I think to myself, I'm scum. I don't belong here. They've made a mistake. And then for the first time, he spoke to me and said, we don't make mistakes. You do belong here. Howard Storm's journey to the other side was over. He says a mysterious figure instructed him to return to Earth and live with love in his heart. When I asked all the questions that I could think of to ask, when I asked all the questions that I could think of to ask, when I asked all the questions that I could think of to ask, even making up questions just to perpetuate the fun, even making up questions just to perpetuate the fun, making up questions just to perpetuate the fun, <laughs> if this is true, how much of a fucking error head for you? Look, if I had the chance to ask Jesus any questions I wanted to, for as long as I wanted to, I guarantee you when I came back, I would have the answers to make this world a much different, much, much, much better world. I would come back with answers that would demonstrate I had truly met a consciousness outside of my consciousness, a consciousness vastly superior to my consciousness, and not just answers that my sub 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 super sub conscious could have somehow known. The ding dong. Fucking dumbass. Of being with Jesus and these people, because it was, it was like wonderful. I'm getting all this attention, I'm getting all this information, and, I, and I've retained all that, uh, that whole thing. The most stressing thing to me... I just felt anything. I have no idea. Attacking the validity of this NDE with a milk and water peplum. Useless questions he asked Jesus. He did not ask Jesus any real questions, which... If this Jesus would have answered, would have demonstrated that this Jesus was not a simple fabrication of his own mind. Why didn't he ask Jesus, who was the Zodiac, who is the Zodiac Killer? Who is the Jeff the Ripper? What's the mystery behind the Bermuda Triangle? What causes spontaneous human combustion? What happened to the lost colony? Now if he had, had asked his Jesus, questions like this and gotten viable answers that could later be demonstrated to be correct, then I would know he had spoken to someone beyond the fabrications of even the deepest part of his sub subconscious. Sci they, they say the human mind is more vast in this universe. So the mind is capable of producing visions and meetings with Jesus, Muhammad, God, that seems so real. But deep down the mind, and the, deep down beneath the subconscious, the mind knows that it fabricated 
these experiences. Hence, Howard Storm says, it became an obsession with me to wonder whether my, whether my experience with Jesus and his angels was real or the product brought on by the trauma of, the, of a dying brain. Make this holiday season magical with a deep down inside, he knows it's bullshit. He just don't know it. You get the fucking picture. You know, why didn't Howard Storm interact? He said, he, he said in a video, he was asking him every question he could think of. When I asked all the questions that I could think of to ask, even making up questions just to perpetuate the fun of being with Jesus and these people, because it was, it was like wonderful, and I'm getting all this attention, I'm getting all this information, and, I, and I've retained all that, uh, that whole thing. Perhaps really, really offensive to me, how a storm. When I emailed your howardstorm.com website and asked you, why didn't you ask questions like the questions like who was Jack who was Jack the Ripper? You never, never, ever, ever, ever. I asked you twice. I emailed you twice. You never, ever, 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 ever responded. Who responded to my other questions on your website? What, the hit a raw nerve? You can't fabricate an answer to satisfy me when I start asking real questions that hit home, that drive like a stake to the core of your experience? Huh? Huh? Why? How to? Why in the fuck didn't you ask Jesus any real questions that would, that would have demonstrated that this was not... You were not forming answers out of your subconscious mind. That you were actually getting answers from a consciousness outside of your consciousness. I'm pissed off because I so badly want to believe your story. I'm in your corner, Howard Storm, but you got to show me something real. I'm 